Local 24 is your local election headquarters, and tonight you watched right here as Tennessee's Democratic candidates for governor went head to head. Good evening, I'm Mary Jaola. House Minority Leader Craig Fitzhugh and former National Mayor Carl Dean answered tough questions from Local 24's Katina Rankin and Richard Ransom. Subjects included housing, abortion, and sanctuary cities. This was the last major debate before voting day on August 2nd. Local 24's Brad Roeders joins us live in the studio with a recap. Brad. Mary Jo, this debate featured civility and similarities, but Dean and Fitzhugh also sparred on certain things tonight, which aired in the middle of early voting and less than two weeks from the hotly contested gubernatorial primary. On one Knoxville stage, Tennessee's two leading Democratic candidates for governor, former Nashville Mayor Carl Dean and House Minority Leader Crank Fitzhugh, answered questions Sunday on more than a dozen topics. On school safety, both supported tougher gun laws and more school resource officers. We need to do better background checks to prevent people from having these types of weapons uh, so they're so easy to obtain because uh, so, they're going to some place like a school. I think SRO are the preferable way to go and in working with law enforcement, retired law enforcement, we can make our schools safer. Both men also supported expanding Medicaid in Tennessee and believe they could convince the Republican-led General Assembly to sign off. There's no reason why. Why not? It makes every moral sense. It makes every medical sense. It makes every mathematical sense to do it. And I believe the colleagues in the legislature can understand. Thank that. you, Mr. Fitch. Let's make this decision not on partisan poli political lines. Let's do this in a rational, reasonable way. What's best for the future of all Tennesseans? What's best for our economy and what's best for our people? Dean also explained his recent ad called Forgotten Tennessee, a premise which fits you rejected. Memphis every day, unlike Nashville, competes with, with, with states that are right next to it. They compete to maintain its tax base. They, main, they compete to keep their jobs. And we have to do more there. We have to say we're going to start winning some of these economic development battles there. I live 50 miles from that city he's talking about, Memphis. They're not forgotten. I don't forget them. I haven't forgotten them in the 24 years that I've been in the legislature. It's just tough out there, and I'm glad to see the mayor coming down and visiting Memphis. And now, both Carl Dean and Craig Fitzhugh did support raising Tennessee's minimum wage from its current $7.25 an hour, though neither supported an immediate hike to $15 an hour. Both also supported the right for athletes to kneel during the national anthem and a woman's right to choose. Reporting live in the studio, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.